Hello everyone, welcome to our video tutorial. So in this video tutorial today, uh, we will show you and guide you how to uh, get rid of this error right here. It says uh, class string not found zero. So uh, normally uh, this occurs when you update your Joomla 3 to Joomla 4. And then once you finish the update, you will find this error. So if you go to your home page, and you check the global configurations, you cannot see it because you got this error. Now, for, for us to be able to, to change or get out of this error is you need to go to your FTP or your hosting site. And then from there, uh, the global configurations, uh, so, here you need to find the global configurations and then uh, since we're using ftp you need to move the files to a local one and then we need to edit the file so what we need to do in the global configurations is we need to debug the site so here uh, some of it it says false so you can change it to true and some of it is zero and then you change it to one so in this case i change it to one so once you you change it, and then uh, you will see the error right there. So here, uh, in this uh, error that we have, is 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 more related to a language. Since this site is a uh, is is default language is not an English, uh, it's a French. So what we need to do for this one is we go to system. And then we need to reinstall the language. So click language. So here you will find it here. Uh, the default is French. So what we need to do is just click that one and install language. And then we need to find French. And here you can see French. So what we need to do is just reinstall it. So just click this one. And then here you can see in your browser that it's loading. So that means uh, uh, you have clicked it properly. And then installation language was successful. So now it's okay. So let's, let's go ahead and check. Go to your home dashboard and then click global configuration. And then that's it. Now uh, you will see now the global configuration without any error. So, yeah. I hope you find it informative, guys. Uh, make sure you try to debug your site uh, so that you will see the error. So you can also get it here and click on this one to debug the site. Okay, but uh, since we're there's no error right now, so there's no way that there's there's uh, nothing to debug. So just turn it off and uh, save and close. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's how you solve you solve the issue of the error. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.